Jag är Elin Landström. I am Interwoman. My family is very important to me. They have always been uh, my biggest supporter, and they still are. Uh, so I really appreciate them and how they are seeing me as a person and not always as a footballer, and giving me the value as a person, and that's important to me. Uh, so I grew up in the north part of Sweden, in a small town called Vennes. Uh, and I lived there with my parents and my two siblings. Uh, we were a very active family, basically biking wherever we went and sport was always a big part of it. So yeah, we tried out a lot of different sports during my childhood and I'm really glad about that. We would always go like hiking and cross country skiing and those kind of things. So I'm very happy about that part. As I said, sport has always been an important part of my life uh, and football was one of them. Uh, so I've always been playing in the backyard with my friends and my siblings. So when they organized a team and uh, for the girls of my age, it was just natural to go there and I just get stuck with it. <laughs> I don't quite remember the first touch, but uh, I do know that football always has been like freedom to me. Uh, even though life is troubling you sometimes, uh, football going to the pitch is always freedom and I don't have to think about anything else. So that's the feeling I really, I really enjoy. I don't quite think I was very confident in thinking that it was the perfect sport for me. Uh, but since I enjoyed it and I put a high value of working hard, I always done my best to become as good as I can. Um, so I got the chance when I was 16 uh, to play my first Champions League game with Umeå IK. And that was such a big moment for me. And soon after that, I got my first professional contract. So at that point, I was like, yeah, maybe this could be something I could do for a living. And uh, yeah, those are two big moments for me. Also, at Peach, I try to find like a balance between, uh, you know, enjoying life, but also try to create like a better world. I feel like it's important to me to actually make some kind of change. Uh, so I care a lot about like the world getting kind and uh, like a better place for the people and the animals living in it. So trying to do what I can, even if it's like the way I'm eating or the, the way I'm talking, just to make this a better place. But I also find it important for me and for my well-being to spend time in nature and uh, yeah, do what I can to enjoy life. Uh, I really enjoyed my time here in Italy. Uh, the language is still a, a hard thing, it's difficult for me, but I'm getting there and I'm picking up some, something more every day and I'm working hard to, to get over the language. But I really enjoy my time here and food and all the experience around football is amazing. Uh, I've been to Como, uh, which was incredible, it's such an amazing place. And uh, spent some time in Parma, which is also an amazing city so I've been doing some uh, traveling and also visited a lot of restaurants. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's fair to tell me that I was always outspoken, it's been a process but justice has always been an uh, important thing for me and the, the more I get to know about the world I feel like <laughs> the injustice is really so it's so obvious. So I feel it's important to speak up and uh, show the world what we can do better. We've come a long way, but we have many more steps to take. And I think that 
one important thing is the visibility. Uh, there are a lot of role models within the sport already, but we need to show them, we need to build that. Uh, and I think the federations and the clubs does have a big responsibility in these questions, because showing the players, showing the role models already out there will create interest and we will have a bigger uh, audience in the stadiums. But we also need to give the players good conditions. It's about facilities, it's about where do we play the games, it's about all, everything around it, how do we organize everything for the women's football. Um, so there are a lot to do, but we have come uh, a long way so far. So uh, we need to work together and I think we will get it. Uh, I'm a true food lover. If there's something I could throw my money at, it's food. So I would say that. Uh, and also my boyfriend really tries to get me into golf. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my passion yet, but I could really enjoy some like a day off in the golf course. I'm a jurist, so I'm working for the Players Union in Sweden, uh, taking care of uh, players' rights, uh, uh, yeah, basically whatever they need help with, uh, I'll, be, I'll be there to help them. <laughs> As I said, <laughs> justice is important to me, and when people don't get the rights uh, that they uh, like, get the rights secured, uh, I get <laughs> upset. <laughs> I feel like I have to do something about it. So it's like the perfect job for me to like telling the players what rights do they have and how to secure them. Uh, my childhood dream is to play a big championship for the Swedish national team. I would say don't worry too much and that's easy to say now but things will be okay and uh, just try to stay present in the moment and try to influence what you can uh, and just let the rest happen because in some way everything will be okay and uh, what you can't influence you just need to go with both.